Weeby Reptiles Road Trip Unboxing. Well, this is a funny little video. It's the only way I can show you guys the, uh, the way I got them because I'm not unboxing them. I'm actually going to pick them up. Just so you guys can see, if you see the sign right there, I am now in Georgia. So, I'm going to Georgia to pick up seven new additions to the Weeby family. I'll keep adding more videos as the trip goes on. So, rock on guys. I'll keep you guys updated. Bye. So, I finally arrived. And I'm going to make myself a little quick stop at the Smoking Swine Barbecue Shop here in Georgia. This is going to be my little uh, lunch break before I pick up my beardies. Hope it's good. Hope you guys know about it. If it is, let me know. Alright guys, we're packed away. Everybody's all packed inside. We've got some really gorgeous babies. I got my G-Stripe back. I've got some beautiful trans males back here. And guess who's underneath here? Mr. Z Wits. Beautiful male Wits boy. And a couple other gorgeous ones. I got a Het Wits Dunner. We've got some uh, beautiful, oh, and another Dunner underneath. And I'll show you guys a little more update once I get home. I'm going to take them all out of their container. But just show you guys everybody's packed away. We picked everybody up safely. Going to put a nice little warm... Little bag. Put a little sweater over them, nice and warm. And we'll be riding home. And we'll give you guys an update when we get them all unpacked. Alright guys, here we go. We're going to go ahead and introduce the first guy. He is a hypo, no, I'm sorry, rephrase that. He's probably a head hypo, trans dunner. He's gorgeous. Crazy, crazy patterns. Amazing coral coloring on his face. He's gorgeous. Who <clears throat> can't get over that gorgeous dunner beard? Yeah, it almost looks like it's greenish and stuff. He's amazing. Got some really nice, like, yellowish green tones to him. And a big, big head. Beautiful, pronounced stripe on his tail, and a nice girthy body. He's in great shape, and his name is Apollo. Yep. He's doing really, really well. Look at these beautiful saturations and colors. And so he's the first one, and this is a guy as a male. All right, now we're we'll bring out another guy. And here's the second edition. This guy here is a gorgeous head hypo, possibly head trans, wits, male, visible wits. Got that gorgeous belly on him and those beautiful eyes. No time I'll have him huge, looking gorgeous. He's amazing. I love his size for wits. He's actually really good size because typically wits aren't really long. But he's in full body shed, so if you guys are curious of why his color is too different like that, but yeah, he's in shed. So he will eventually just be a one solid color with no patterns. I love that kind of yellow tone to his face. And this guy's name is Silver. Gorgeous boy. And now we come to my uh, G-Stripe female, Citrus G-Stripe. She's got a really beautiful patteration. These gorgeous, gorgeous, big old eyes. Look at them eyes. And this is the G-Stripe genetics that you guys have been seeing a lot lately. They're very popular. A lot of people love that beautiful, perfect stripe down the back. So these guys have been becoming a lot more popular. And, and people actually love to get the hold of them. It is a new morph. It's been around for a little while, but it is somewhat new. But it's a co-dominant gene, so they're are quite a bit of people already starting to produce them and she's just a gorgeous new addition German import G-Stripe she was produced by um, Hellfire Reds up in Germany alright and this girl here Lemon is a 100% Weeby original you can tell by that big Weeby belly and she's my citrus blueback het trans hypo American leatherback. The difference between the American leatherbacks is their center right here. Typically, a good smooth Italian leatherback will be completely smooth like this, but American leatherbacks still have a little bit of bumping. Not a smoothie. She's much more smooth than a smoothie. Much more reduced scale than that. But 
That's American leather. But kisses. She remembers daddy. And that's my good girl, Lemon. Good girl. Yeah, the family's getting back together. She's so beautiful. This is a Dove and Poseidon's baby. Also Future's little sister. Okay. Gorgeous, gorgeous girl. All right. Next new addition is another gorgeous uh, Citrus Dunner. Possible head trans. Hypo, I believe, in this one. Yep, pure hypo. And she's a sweetheart. She's got some beautiful, beautiful colors in. Who can't get over those Dunner scales? You see kind of like a short snout on her, too. Very beautiful girl. Love the coloration on her. Pateration is beautiful. I love that, how she got that white kind of scalation on the top of her. Kind of like my guy, uh, Zorro. And then she got those side spikes that are like, it's orange and then white side sparks. Beautiful girl. Oh, no, mommy. Come here back. Come back to the video. But yeah, she's getting her bellies on. Starting to slowly get her gut back up. I mean, she had a gut when I got her, but you know, you gotta get that weeby gut. So, that's her. She's a little jumpy. A little, little frilly. But we're getting her settled in. Gorgeous, gorgeous girl. You guys will see more of her. And I'll probably breed her. Because I do like how she's growing. Alright, next... And here's the last edition. Really special, beautiful dunner. As you guys probably told, I can tell, I got a, a few dunners. I think I got four all together. The gentleman that I got from was a very high-end collector and liked a lot of the gorgeous, more exotic morphs, like the wits and zeros and whatnot. I mean, wits and dunners and wits and dunners. Because <laughs> this girl here, she's a dunner, 100% het wits. Possible het trans. Such a beautiful girl. These colors are beautiful. And you can tell the wits from the lighter coloration and the lighter on the head. Kind of almost, they lose almost their patterns from the 100% head wits. Such a beautiful, beautiful girl. All healthy and strong. And yeah, they're all good. <clears throat> Doing really well. <clears throat> and like I said, guys, I keep everybody updated as time goes on with them and show you how the guys are progressing. But I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the uh, somewhat unboxing. <laughs> of the seven new additions to the Weeby family. Leave your comments and concerns at the bottom. Bye guys.